The Asus Pro Duo is a fantastic laptop with an RTX 3070 and an Intel Core i9-10980HK. All this helps when you're trying to bring power to your fingertips quite literally and get productive work done. So you can see that it's a really nice and sleek looking laptop. It's got two screens. You might notice that right off the bat. I also do have a full video on this Asus ZenBook Pro Duo laptop. Link is in the top right of the cards. It's also gonna be at the end of the video on screen. So feel free to click on that once you kind of know which laptop you want to go with. Now, on the other hand, with the Racist ROG Strix laptop, it's a very powerful computer and it's hard to rival at the price that it is. It's got an RTX 3080 and a Ryzen 9 6900 HX. Now with the Ryzen 9, these are typically really good for editing, such as Hyper Premiere Pro, After Effects, DaVinci Resolve, all of those types of editing software, but it does have a heavy emphasis on gaming. Now I have both of these laptops, but by the end of this video, I'm gonna pick one because both of these have pretty different workflows and they are pretty contrasting laptops. They have a few similarities, but not a lot to be completely blunt. And so if you think you know which laptop I'm gonna choose by the end of the video, leave a comment down below. And if you get it right, I'll give you a cookie, a chocolate chip one, because that's my favorite. <laughs> Now the contrast between these laptops can be pretty difficult and comparing them is not gonna be straightforward because the ZenBook Pro Duo has an i9 processor, which is great for gaming. Ryzen has recently stepped up its game pretty close to what a Intel Core processor would do. So they're pretty identical for the most part. There might be some slight differences with an Intel processor. It might run games a little more smoothly, but that doesn't take away the power that the Asus ROG Strix gaming laptop has and it's powerful editing capabilities with a heavy emphasis on gaming and I'm going to show you that both of these laptops can play AAA games, PUBG, Valorant, Warzone, Fortnite, pretty much whatever game you want and you can stream it at the same time. Now your workflow is probably different to mine and that's why I've got two very different laptops. Sure they have their similarities, you know they have a keyboard and touchpad and so on. One thing I will mention though is that the ZenBook Pro Duo has a webcam, the Asus ROG Strix doesn't have a webcam. Something that I'm kind of disappointed about especially if it's designed for gaming at least a heavy emphasis on gaming you know you might want to chat with your friends and maybe even do video calls with them and that's something that you can't do with this unless you get an external webcam now as far as similarities go both of these laptops will play your favorite AAA game or you know pretty much whatever game you have as well as a really high-end CPU you're not gonna have any issues with that especially if you've dedicated the laptop to gaming and you're not streaming at the same time it's gonna be just fine however if you are going to edit with the Asus ZenBook Pro Duo it might it's not going to struggle with editing but the fans do kick up to increase its power performance that's nothing out of the ordinary especially from a laptop their cooling systems are not as efficient as let's say a desktop like here which is totally natural and normal however the asus zimbal pro duo does have a, a liftable screen here so when you do open the laptop that opens up and brings airflow through the top and pushes it out through the bottom although Hot air rises, so I don't know why it's going through the top and out the bottom. And then a couple of the other similarities are they both have a one terabyte M.2 SSD for their storage and 32 gigs of RAM. Aside from that, there's a whole lot different to these two laptops. One thing I'll say right off the bat is the Asus ZenBook Pro Duo, because it has a webcam, it does see your face and you can use your face to unlock the laptop, which is a pretty neat feature. I like that that happens because I mean, you do the same thing with your phone. I have an iPhone and it does the same stuff. So I kind of like that little feature. I, sometimes it doesn't work like one out of 10 times. It won't recognize my face or my face is too far or you know might be too dark or whatever the situation might be and I'd have to manually put the code in to unlock the laptop that doesn't happen very often with the Asus ROG Strix it doesn't like I mentioned have a webcam which is kind of an issue for me especially since I might be streaming or even gaming and sometimes I might want to use my webcam you know I guess that's just what it is uh, you can get an external webcam like a Logitech C920, which is 80 bucks, or even Elgato Facecam, which is 170, pretty good quality. You'll just have to get a microphone if you want good audio with both of these laptops. It's not good quality with the microphone on these laptops, but it'll do just fine if you're doing a video conference or you know something like that. But as far as like video production, don't use the microphones in these laptops. One thing that the ROG Strix laptop has that the Asus ZenBook Pro Duo doesn't have are the volume and mute button on the top of the keyboard here. You can also have the hot key to increase or decrease your performance of your laptop and you can also choose what that would look like in the armory crate app which is a really nice app it can also control the lights on this laptop on the bar here on the sides and also the keyboard lighting too i just have the keyboard lighting at a solid white because i don't 
go with all the crazy flashy stuff. I'm also gonna turn off the light bar at the bottom of the laptop, conserve laptop battery, and also it's just too flashy for me. Now, both of these laptops have eight core processors, and that's really nice to have an eight core processor, separate those cores, spread the load, I like that. If it's anything lower than that, I would consider not getting a laptop less than eight cores unless you're not doing high productivity work or you're not playing extremely demanding games. It's not gonna be necessary to have an eight core processor, but it is nice, I'm not gonna lie. Now the Asus ZenBook Pro Duo has a 15.6 OLED 4K display and it's really nice. But being 4K and this small at 15.6 inches, you're not gonna see the 4K difference. Getting a 1080p or even a 1440p laptop screen on the Asus ZenBook is probably gonna be more beneficial and save your budget at the same time. Having a 4K screen this small, not gonna make that whole difference to you. I've played PUBG on the Asus ZenBook Duo and it's fun and it's great, but the screen is a little small, especially at 4K. So if you bump it up to 1080p, you might be able to spot your enemies better whatever game you play. That's just something that I noticed. Now the 3070 in this laptop has eight gigabytes of video RAM, which is really nice. Anything lower than that might be a little slower, but I think the standard would be eight gigabytes. 12 or 16 would have been nice, but then again, that's extremely overkill for a laptop. And I totally understand why it's an eight gigabyte graphics card. The screen pad plus on this laptop is really nice. It doesn't flex when you press onto it. It's all touch screen and you can use a stylus with it which is pretty neat. You can also have, let's say when you're editing, have your Premiere Pro timeline on the bottom screen and then have your main project on your main monitor and be able to control everything from there. So you can be pretty productive with that. Now with the Asus ROG Strix laptop, it's got a 17.3 inch, 165 Hertz, three millisecond response time. It's a really good monitor. And frankly, 2K is way better than having a 4K laptop screen. With an extra screen real estate, I think the image pops really nice as far as your games and being able to see who you wanna shoot. Now here's the one thing I really like about this laptop. It's got a 3080 but it's a 16 gigabyte graphics card so it helps spread the load even more. A lot more than what the Asus ZenBook Pro Duo will do. However, it is a bigger profile. It's a larger laptop so if that's an issue for you, you might want to go with Asus ZenBook 2. And also it's got a second screen on this laptop. A lot of people might like that especially for productivity. As far as power goes, the Asus ROG Strix laptop is gonna be where it's at. And even for gaming with the Ryzen 9 5900HX, it's a really great CPU. So you're not gonna bottleneck anything and you're not gonna have any lag issues with gaming. Now you can game and stream at the same time, but you are gonna have to lower those settings because it is a laptop, it can be tricky. You must use ethernet when you're live streaming with a laptop. You can't do it wirelessly at a really good quality unless your bitrate is extremely low and your settings are extremely low. You're not gonna get by on live streaming without an ethernet cable. And both of these laptops come with Windows 10 Pro with a free upgrade to Windows 11. I haven't done that yet. I'm a little scared of Windows 11 right now. There's been some horror stories. I'm sure Windows has kind of ironed out those issues, but you know, I'm kind of stuck in my old ways with Windows 10. I like how it looks. I like how it feels. I don't feel like switching right now. I don't got time for it to learn it. It's not that much to learn, but if you remember the switch from Vista to or seven to eight or 10, whatever it was, they, they completely botched it. And I just don't want that experience again. Probably won't get that, but I'm just a little, you know, set in my ways. And if you do want a full in-depth review of the Asus ROG Strix laptop, I do have a video in the top right in the cards and it's gonna be at the end of this video. So once you've kind of decided which laptop you wanna go for and you'll learn more about those specs and what they can do and their benchmarks and so on, I'll put that in the video so you can just click it on screen and go right to it. And if you're this far in the video, leave a like, that'd be appreciated. You obviously enjoyed it. Thank you so much, I appreciate it. It supports the channel. And while you're there, maybe subscribe and stick around for the future. One thing I'm gonna mention about the differences between these two laptops is the touchpad. The touchpad, on the Asus ZenBook Pro Duo is not the greatest. I'm not too satisfied with it. It's small and on the side. Often I found times where I'm ready to grab the mouse pad. I touch the keyboard instead by accident and realize it's not there because I'm so used to it. It's kind of automatic by this point and I have to remind myself, oh, it's on the side. There we go, it's right there. On the Asus ROG Strix laptop, it's in the middle like where I'm used to. It's also about, it looks twice the size of the one that's on the Asus ZenBook Pro Duo. So it's got a lot of finger pad real estate. It's large and you're gonna have a lot of room with that. It feels a whole lot better and I can move it all around. Not so much with the Asus ZenBook Pro Duo, but you can change its sensitivity so that it can hit from one side of the screen to the other with one swipe, but I don't need to do that. It's just gonna be too fast for me. So I, it usually takes about two swipes from one side of the screen to the other with the ZenBook Pro Duo. And then if I do it with the ROG Strix laptop, it, it's even more. So by the time it hits the end of the screen, uh, I've got about that much more or maybe an inch left on the mouse pad before it hits the end of the screen. 
I've been saying mouse pad. It's a touch pad. You know that. Moving on. <laughs> Another key feature, or it's not really key, but it's a small detail that I really appreciate is the Asus ROG Strix laptop is it has the speakers on top of the computer, but underneath the laptop screen. So it's between the screen and the computer itself. The speakers speak right to me, pun intended, and it just sounds clear and unmuffled. Now with the Asus Zimbook Pro Duo and most laptops out there, the speakers are underneath the, the laptop and it goes on the table, kind of spreads out and it feels a little or sounds a little muffled and you can't quite hear the clarity that you might hear with the Asus ROG Strix laptop. The audio quality from the Asus ROG Strix is way better than the Asus Zenbook Pro Duo. But most of the time with gaming, you're gonna be headphones anyways, not a deal breaker by any means. Now I am going to be giving away the Asus Zenbook Pro Duo laptop. It's a $3,000 laptop, really powerful. Giving it away for free. Entries are open right now. There's not a lot of time left, so hurry. Link is down below. It's a really fantastic laptop and it's going to do everything that you're going to want it to do. And on top of that, the Asus Zenbook Pro Duo laptop giveaway is international, so it's worldwide. You know, in the terms and conditions on the giveaway page, you'll see there are some restricted countries like, you know, Russia for plain reasons and North Korea and, you know, some small exceptions like that. But for the most part, it's worldwide. Enjoy. And one last thing to mention about the Asus ROG Strix laptop is it has a keystone here. It's pretty cool. Uh, it's more for the, the people who like the fine details and kind of a, the extra quality of life things. And especially one example I can think of to use this thing is if you're in a public area pretty often and you're, you know, doing your work and you don't want people to either see it or be on the laptop when you're gone, when you take a break or, you know, you got to go deal with something and then come back. You can program the keystone to lock your screen, close programs, whatever you want it to do when you pull it out. And then when you put it back in, it's actually magnetic. It's pretty cool. And uh, it unlocks your screen, does everything you want it to do with, I mean, you can always just do the Windows lock button to lock your screen, which is what I do. I haven't programmed the keystone yet, so it's, it's, you know, I haven't used it yet, but I'm sure like if I can find some more uses for it, I would definitely use it. I do figure more about what this can do and, and how you can use it in that video in the top right in the cards and at the end of the video. And I'm sure by now you're probably having the burning question, which laptop did I choose? Drum roll, I guess. I chose the Asus Zenbook Pro Duo. <laughs> It's confusing, okay? I picked the Asus ROG Strix laptop. It's about the same price, slightly cheaper in fact, with a higher performance graphics card, uh, and it's got a bigger screen. Sure, it doesn't have the second laptop screen here, and it doesn't have the i9 processor, which is, you know, for the most part, Intel is better for gaming, but Ryzen 9 is gonna do just fine for the gaming needs that I want. Most of the time, I'm gonna do editing and productivity work on here, so if I'm gonna use the After Effects, Premiere Pro, all of that kind of stuff, a Ryzen is a better CPU than Intel to do editing and graphics and things like that. The Asus Zimbal Pro Duo laptop is really good with productivity because, you know, it's just, that's what it's designed for. So with that, I'm gonna leave it up to you. Let me know in the comments below which one you wanna get or, you know, click on the videos on screen now if you wanna check out more in depth on which laptop you prefer. If you guys enjoyed, leave a like, that'd be appreciated. Thank you so much. Obviously you enjoyed it if you're watching it this far. Subscribe and stick around for the future. Don't forget to click on the next video, kind of dive deeper into the laptop that you prefer. I'll see you next time. Until then, make something great. You thought I was gonna pick the Asus Zenbook. Okay, that's interesting. Cause I like power and this is powerful. Not that this isn't, but this has more power. I'm, I'm live streaming this at the time of this recording. So come check it out. Twitch.tv slash Frost. Link is down below. We have a good time. And sometimes I live stream the recordings I do.